Hi, I'm Naya Kalmels, and welcome to Mindful Movement. I believe that movement is medicine. In today's video, we're going to go over neck and shoulder release, and this is part of a series of videos, number one of five, for seated exercises so that you can do them in front of the computer, during your Zoom meetings, in front of the TV. I'm trying to make it as convenient as possible for you to keep moving throughout your day. So let's begin. Go grab a chair. Now that you have your chair, you're going to start by mobilizing the neck, starting by looking down towards your lap and back up straight in front of you. As you look down towards your lap, think about lengthening through the spine, drawing lower belly to spine as you look down and drawing back up to look straight in front of you. Now we'll take our gaze from one side of the room to the other. Imagine you have laser beam eyes and you're literally cutting a line across the room from one side to the other. And you might notice that one side is easier to turn to than the other. Nothing to judge, just take note if that's the case for you. And as you work on rotating the neck from one side to the other, let the shoulders draw down the back of the rib cage, keeping the spine long, and draw lower belly to spine to support the lower back. Stay grounded down through the sits bones. We're now gonna take our left ear towards the left shoulder, and then take your hand and place it gently on the top of the head. You're not pulling to traction the neck here. You're just giving it a little gentle release. And then take your gaze down towards your left thigh and back in front of you and up towards the ceiling and back in front of you again. One more time, down towards your left thigh, up towards the ceiling, back to center, and then release. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Same side ear goes to shoulder. We're going to place our hand gently on the top of the head, no pulling, and then take the gaze down towards the right thigh and to center and up towards the ceiling. And a couple more times. And as you continue here, get as much of a stretch as you can between the side of the neck and the shoulder and come back to center and then release. Now, oftentimes when we're looking at something forward in front of us, we tend to draw our head forward. So this next exercise is all about creating as much length as you can through the back of the neck. So imagine you have a string from the crown of your head drawing you up towards the sky, lengthening through the spine as much as you can. Take your chin and draw it towards your neck like you're trying to give yourself not a double chin, but a quadruple chin, and then release. You might also imagine that you have a wall behind you and you're drawing the back of the head into that wall and release. Three more times, drawing in and then gently releasing. Two more, drawing the chin in towards the neck and release. And last one. Good, we're gonna finish up with a stretch across the back of the shoulders. Take your arms out into a T position and give yourself a big hug. Draw your elbows just about an inch up and then draw your chin back towards your neck as you draw your elbows forward, rib cage back behind you. Take a nice deep breath, feeling the rib cage expand. And on your exhale, take your arms out into a T, cross opposite arm over the other. Give yourself a big hug again. Draw your elbows up just about an inch and chin back of the head, reach back, rib cage reaches back as your elbows draw forward, getting a nice Stretch the back of the shoulder blades and then gently release and bring arms by your sides. You might roll out your shoulders and your neck a little bit and we'll close out grounding down through the soles of your feet, down through the sits bones, lengthen through the spine. Sweep arms up overhead and on your exhale, bring palms together and to heart center. Thank you so much for joining me for mindful movement. I hope that you move mindfully throughout the rest of your day. Thank you.